Before there was Apogee Stadium, there was Fouts Field. Before there was Zach Orr, there was Mean Joe Green. This year marks the 100th season the University of North Texas will play collegiate football. You know, it's, it's kind of funny. I've been at three different universities, LSU, uh, TCU, and now North Texas, where we've celebrated 100 years of football. And when you think about it, there aren't, aren't a lot of schools that can say that. I, I love our story here in North Texas, and, and I, I'm offended when people say, well, you don't have a tradition. Everybody has a story. Everybody has a tradition. And I think we have a really unique one. To celebrate the history of the program, North Texas compiled an all-century team to honor the 27 best players ever to don the green and white and head coach Otis Mitchell. From a coach who arrives in 1946 from Marshall, Texas with only high school experience and has a Tom Landry-like run from the 40s to the 60s, uh, that same coach takes in an, an African-American player in 1957. Uh, and you know, 10 years before uh, there was a, a black player in the Southwest Conference, five years before the I Have a Dream speech. And then you got Mean Joe Green, the greatest defensive tackle, arguably, of all time. Uh, what Hayden Fry did, what Corky Nelson did here in the 80s. 100 years to me is, uh, it, it's a reflection of, of a program that has tradition. And if you're on that team, man, you have, you have a brotherhood of, um, of, of greatness. Without a doubt, it's an honor to be one of those uh, out of so many. But for, for uh, the university uh, and, and the athletic department to recognize us is, is really special. To have a honor bestowed on you in your later life is tremendous. It really put in perspective for me whenever I get mentioned a guy that's past 2000, getting mentioned in with guys from the 70s and 50s and 60s and all the way back, um, it just blows your mind. And uh, it's just such a great honor to be here, to be a part of this group. It's, it's a real honor. Um, in, the, in the class, you know, with Joe Green and Abner Haynes and those guys, um, you know, to be in going in with that legacy is, is is nobody but God. For me, I get really emotional because this is a big, this is a big uh, event for me. It's a big event for my family and it's a big event for my friends. And I'm so thankful for the opportunity to be here. Especially when you got guys like Mean Joe, the Ray Renfro's, the Abner Haynes, you know, Patrick Cobbs, the Johnny Quinn's, the Cody, you know, it's just a great group to be a part of. You know, all these guys did something special for the program. I, I just think it's absolutely wonderful for an institution to have been in existence for a hundred years, and I'm one of the people that was chosen to be on the team. Tonight we'll have a, a great festive banquet, get a chance to talk about every year from 1950 on up to 2012. One game I was blocking downfield for him, and I threw a block, and I'd run 30 yards, and I looked over there, and Abner was about 30 yards across the field and 50 yards and scored. I walked down there, and I said, Abner, don't do me that way again. I said, if I'm going to block for you, you use that block. Well, about two games later, the same situation came up. I threw him a block, and he used it, and the second guy tackled him. He picked me up and said, I could have scored. I said, I know that. introduced the throwback uniform, which uh, represents four eras of North Texas football that were among our most successful. You know, watching um, Joe Green play in the NFL and then knowing that he played here, and to know that Abner Haynes was one of the first people to break the color barrier uh, here in Texas. All those things, just the flood of emotions that runs through, and then to get to put that together in a uniform that represents them all. Every one of those players who played during those hundred years made an impact on this program. They're the reason we sit in this stadium. They're the reason that we have the facilities we have today because they represent the University of North Texas in a football uniform. These are the faces that look up to you. You, the fans, the people who pack the stands week after week. So, before you walk through the stadium gates or see the first fan from the other team, ask yourself one question. Are you setting a good example for the next generation? Make sportsmanship your best play of the game and make it a great day for CUSA football. 
you're a North Texas Mean Green fan. You want the world to know it, and there's only one place for you to gear up. Shop.MeanGreenSports.com You'll find a great selection of over 200 items, including jerseys, t-shirts, hats, and more. Decorate your home, office, or even your car with the best selection of Mean Green gear anywhere. You'll also find great customer service, 365-day hassle-free returns, and fast shipping. So show the world you're a North Texas Mean Green fan. Head to shop.MeanGreenSports.com. Welcome back to another season of Mean Green Football. George Dunham along with Hank Dickinson and Stephen Bartolotta. We're at Apogee Stadium in Denton, over 100 degrees late August. That's the way it goes in the North Texas area, and that's the way it is for a home opener for the North Texas Mean Green as they get set to take on the Idaho Vandals in what is the 100th year of North Texas football. The throwback jerseys will be uh, worn uh, this afternoon. And uh, this sets up to be a very special season for this Mean Green team. Dan McCarney believes he has built it to the point that they're ready to compete for a conference title. And uh, this year, that's a new conference, Conference USA, in what is the 100th year of North Texas football. You channeled the last eight months. Channeled the last eight months even though it's not even four quarters we're going to play. And then break it down to four and six seconds on one play each. That's all we're asking. Channel it, man. Games have a way of revealing your preparation. How did you prepare? I'll tell you how you prepared. With tenacity and toughness and heart and effort and heat and all that stuff. For this, baby. For this chance. For this opportunity. Nothing more. Don't make this damn thing too complex. You do your job. You give us all you got, four to six seconds, one play at a time. Don't worry about anything else. You do your job. That's what you've been prepared to do. They got no idea what Mean Green Family means. You do what I do and we do. They got no idea what's coming. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Opening drive of the game, same formation. Two receivers left with a wing right. And Chalice will play action the ball, pops back to throw with time. Throws deep right side, has got a man caught. 40 yard line, 30, stumbling down to the North Texas 20 fumble. And it is loose and picked up by Idaho now at the 10 yard line. The Vandals of Idaho strike first with a four play 75 yard touchdown drive. Play action by Chalice rolling out left. Throws, got a man caught, touchdown. And Idaho has taken a 6 0 lead. Let's wrestle up and do what you do best. But we're going to need to pressure that little lover. Help these guys as much as you can, and they'll help you too, right? Get your water. North Texas counters with back to back scoring drives, capped off by an 85 yard touchdown catch by Breland Chancellor, the longest touchdown reception of his Mean Green career. Chancellor's on a roll. He caught it. Bye bye. There goes Breland. 10 5. Touchdown. 85 yards. They left him wide, wide open. and Pegram are the tailbacks. Thompson hands the ball off, it's Lewis up the middle, touchdown, Mean Green. First down, North Texas at the 26 of Idaho, Bird running left through a hole, 20, 15, 10, breaks away, five, end zone, touchdown, Brandon Bird, 27 yard run. Senior running back Brandon Bird's 27-yard touchdown puts the Mean Green comfortably ahead at halftime, 26 to six. But Coach McCarney is not satisfied. Everybody's average is a day as long. Thank God we got a whole half to play right now. Every guy needs to play better in the second half because that's what good football teams do. They learn from their mistakes in the first half and they turn it up. They don't relax. 
We got so much football to be played. We can improve so much. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. This is third and goal at the two. They're going to stay in the bone. Lewis is the fullback, Bird, and Pegram are the tailbacks. Thompson under center, gives it to Pegram. Out right, finds an alley, finds the goal line, touchdown, Mean Green. Transfer Reggie Pegram scores his first touchdown as a member of the Mean Green. Yeah, let's go! On the next possession, another newcomer gets in on the action. First and 10, fake handoff, throw over the middle. Tower with a catch and he got away. 10, five touchdown. The former Longhorn in the end zone and it's a 30 yard touchdown pass from Thompson to Darius Terrell. The first one is in the books and North Texas is out of the gate at 1-0 as they blow out Idaho 40-6. 46 win, I guess that's what happened, man. I guess they'll keep me around, right? My old butt ain't going nowhere. I'm here forever, right? It's just the beginning. We're going to hit six, I promise. Let's go. Get your eyes on me, pay attention, we won't be here long. Everybody understands in this room, we can play much, much better. As long as you understand that, we got a great chance to win again next week. As long as you understand that. There was a lot of guys did some real good things, but as a team, a lot of mistakes, a lot of first game mistakes. We gotta do a better job as coaches, you gotta do a better job as players, but one week at a time, all we care about is winning that next game. Now we got a 24 hour rule here, man. 24 hour rule to, to enjoy this. But you know what winning teams do? You know what classy teams do? Successful teams do. They take care of one another. They know how to enjoy the time with friends and family, girlfriends. They don't embarrass the program. Don't do that. This program has come so far. The culture has been changed. Lock in. Enjoy it. Relax. Take care of yourselves. We'll go right back tomorrow. As you know, Coach Collins will give you the schedule here. Then we'll call up and sing the fight song again. Take care of yourselves, man. One step, but it's a big first step. Nothing like being 1-0 to start this season. Right now, man.